Okay, welcome to a little drawing lesson. Um, now I'm gonna embrace the Fovists. Here we go, there we go, I got it adjusted. Okay, we're gonna kind of do a little bit of a Fovis style drawing. What that means is it's gonna be quite simplistic. Um, and if you remember from the beginning of the year, I was told you guys to turn your brains off. This time I want you to turn your brains on and draw the most generic looking face that you can. Um, because we're going to just do a little random portrait. So I'm going to do somebody's face and maybe like a little bit of their neck and shoulders. So I'm just going to start like that. And I'm going to do this kind of Matisse style and be like, ooh, there's a nose. And there's an eye. And there's another eye. And then there's their other eyebrow. And I'm going to... <laughs> and I want to give them some ears and I'm just doing this however I want. I'm not worried about making this realistic at all. Um, maybe they have kind of a high collar thing going on. Give them a little bit of a shirt, maybe some shoulders. If you want to challenge yourself. You can give them some funky buttons. Okay, maybe like pattern on their shirt. Okay, let's give them the rest of their head. Um, I'm gonna give a little bit of hair. My family, we all have wavy curly hair. So there we go, a little bit more wave in there. And then, um, I like it when you see people with those like little hats you know, off to the side. Like that. Okay, and then um, if you wanna add anything else like, you should have their face, they should have ears, they should have shoulders and like a shirt on. If you wanna add, let me give mine a nose ring and maybe some earrings. Something like that. Okay, now, um, step one, easy, very, very generic. It only took us a couple seconds to do, or a couple minutes. The next step, I did this on a full page, by the way. Um, the next step is to get another full page. Okay, you don't have to have a sketchbook like I do, but you just have to have another page. And go ahead and match what you see. Okay, so um, you're gonna try and match the shapes that you made and especially the lines. This is just a bunch of lines. Um, so just go ahead and match the directions of the lines that you're seeing and the length of the line that you're seeing. So this part actually will take you quite a while. And this is something we practice from the beginning of the year, but it's gonna help your drawing skills um, spruce those drawing skills back up again because we've been focusing on color so much, it's actually nice to come back to drawing. So as you see, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna draw very sketchy. I'm gonna try and match the angles of the lines that I'm seeing. I'm already a little off, but that's okay. That's why they made erasers. Okay, I have a nice curve here. I'm gonna try and match that. Okay, so go slow. This should take you at least 20 minutes. Okay. Do not try and rush this. Okay. Perfect example of line direction that I have to match here. Okay. And I'm just going to continue doing this. Um, and I invite you to do the same and finish it off. And this will be your drawing challenge.